Hey Legionnaires and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that sub button and hit that notification bell so you're not missing any of the content that we have coming out. And this evening, we're going to be finishing up all the issues that came out this week for the King in Black line. And this video is going to be covering Planet of the Symbiotes issue number two. Now, as usual, if you haven't been keeping up with the line, if you're a little behind, go ahead and check out all my videos. King of Black issue number four dropped today, and it is absolutely phenomenal, which is something I cannot say about Planet of the Symbiotes. This was severely a letdown, but we're going to talk about that as we get into it. And with that being said, let's dive into this issue. All right, so getting into issue number two, we see the American Kaiju and he is ripping apart symbiotes and it really is great artwork I give credit to that and we see Corporal Todd Ziller United States Army willing test subject for a ramshackle super soldier knockoff kind of serum and the dialogue that it gives us here is Corporal Todd telling us that he wanted this he wanted the power. Life as himself was empty. It was shallow, but he wanted purpose. He wanted to manifest a destiny. So he volunteered for this. And this is what the military wanted him to be. Or at least, this is what the military was fine with him becoming. America wanted another star-spangled deliverer, like Captain America. But sometimes America cuts corners. And they set him loose on these streets, on the symbiote dragons. And yeah, the symbiote dragons need to be dealt with, but in the process, he's going to destroy everything he touches. Grocery stores, hair salons, urgent care, libraries, schools, hospitals. It doesn't matter because anything that's in his way is getting taken out. He's going to leave tens of thousands of lives in ruined. And who's going to be responsible for all of this destruction? The dragons? Would it be America? No. At the end of the day, he is going to be held responsible. The only one to blame is him because he volunteered for this. Or at least, this is how he sees it. And as he's taking out these dragons, Sandman 1 has parachuted down onto his back and made it to where he goes back to normal size. And she lets him know that he did a good job. And that's where this part of the issue ends. Now, I have two issues with this. First of all, this story had no substance to it whatsoever. It really just didn't go anywhere. It was just like, oh yeah, look, the American Kaiju is killing symbiotes. End of story. And and he didn't even keep going. He There's symbiotes everywhere still it just doesn't make sense it was really just a filler more or less at least in my opinion and the next story is, is really just as short but it picks us up with the prowler and he's sitting down with his girlfriend trying to convince her that he's given up the prowler because the prowler he was a, a villain for a time, a villain of Spider-Man. And he's letting her, letting her know he's done with all of this. And as he's trying to convey this to her, it starts raining symbiotes. And he tells her, I know what this is. This is Venom. And everyone needs to get out of here. We need to be quiet, close the windows. And someone tries arguing with him. Just tries, you know, letting their ego get in the way and being like, I don't have to listen to you. And this is when a symbiote dragon comes in and bites him, attaching himself to this man. And this is when he takes his girlfriend and they run. They run as fast as they can, and he gets her undercover, and he lets her know that he's going to have to put a pin in the conversation about hanging up the prowler. And his suit is activated, and he goes after these guys. But he's hit clear across the street by one of these symbiotes, and he's able to stand up, though it did hurt him pretty bad. But he does have a, a silicon nano mesh fabric suit, so it repels fluid to include the symbiotes. And this is when he realizes he's inside of an electronic store, and he used to hack Stark Tech back in the day, and today is no different. So he picks up all the phones and sets it to a, to a ringer that is going to be such a high frequency, all the symbiotes coming and after him are going to be blasted off and this is when he activates the phone and we see the symbiotes flying off of these guys and so he finally makes it back to his apartment he calls his girlfriend and they have a conversation she's letting him know that she is safe and he's letting her know that he's going to have to help spider-man figure out all of this mess and this is when we see him suit up as the hornet and that will be the end of this issue so like i said 
this this issue was kind of just lacking completely. They should have just done one story and not try to split it into two. This is something that uh, DC Comics is doing in Future State, and it's really taking away from what stories could be if they just did an individual line. I have to say, this is probably my least favorite from the King in Black line so far. But it's kind of made up for in my mind because issue number four did come out today and that was such an amazing issue that it counterbalances how bad this issue actually was. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have not yet, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, check out Comic Breakdown and more podcasts available on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. And remember, we are Legion and we are many.